So as I said, uh, this is the start of uh, summer here in Canada, and uh, we only have a very short summer. Uh, we only have like two months, July and August. Uh, that's why in two weeks' time, I'm planning to go on an island. Okay, I'm not going on a cruise. I'm going, <laughs> uh, I'm going to an island uh, where there's no electricity, no Wi-Fi, no everything, <laughs> no water. So I'm just going to go there. And uh, so I'm planning to do a canoe camping, okay? Uh, even though uh, I've, uh, I've never ridden a, a canoe. So that's a problem. So that's one thing that I have to learn, you know, uh, to how, to, how to ride a canoe. And I was like thinking, oh, that's easy, right? It's like a boat. You just paddle, 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 and you go to your destination. So, uh, and there was that pride in me that, oh, I don't want to ask people, and I don't want to ask them to train me how to uh, ride on a canoe. But I'm glad I did, you know. So I asked some of the parishioners here at St. Mary's uh, to, uh, to teach me on how to ride a canoe. So we went to this, uh, bl- this place in Ottawa, and uh, so, you know, the, this person was training me on how to unload the, the canoe from the roof of the, of, the, of the van and also loading it, right? And so I'll, I'll show you a picture of that. I see here that, uh, you know, I was carrying this canoe and trying to put it on the, on the roof, and it was a heavy canoe, so I was having a hard time, but finally I was able to to do it. So the next picture there is me being able to successfully put the canoe on the the roof of the of the van. Uh, On another occasion also another parishioner uh, taught me how to do the J-stroke. I've never heard of the J-stroke. All I know is that you know you just paddle right? Uh, But because in in the canoe you only have like one paddle and if you want to paddle on one side and go straight you need to learn how to do the J-stroke. And it was hard. It is, it is hard for me. You know, I was trying it like for maybe uh, for a one hour, and the canoe was just going around. <laughs> I wasn't going straight. I was going around. Uh, so, but finally, you know, I, I learned how to do it. So, you know, but, but thanks be to God. You know, uh, God was like teaching me how to be humble and really ask for, uh, ask for, for, for help from, from other people on how to do it. Because otherwise, if I just went straight to that island using the canoe, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to arrive in that island or, or how long will I take, you know, to go to that island, right? They say it's only 40 minutes to go to that island. Maybe it will take me four hours. So I'm glad I learned how to uh, ride a canoe. You know, in, in, our, in our gospel today, it talks about the importance of being humble, okay, and on how to become like a child. In our gospel today, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. So the, 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 the mysteries of the kingdom of God was hidden to the wise and the intelligent. You know, who are the wise and the intelligent? During the time of Jesus, these are the the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the religious leaders who think that they already know everything, okay? And, And because of that intellectual pride in them, they were not able to receive the revelation of God's kingdom. And Jesus was saying that this, the, the revelation of the mysteries of God's kingdom was revealed to the infant, to the childlike. And these are the disciples, the followers of Jesus, who were, they were so humble enough to really learn from what Jesus was telling them, okay? So what is, uh, what is it to become childlike? There's a difference between being childish and being childlike, okay? So I'll just like maybe point out to you what's the difference between uh, being childish and being childlike, okay? Childish it's a behavior, there's a behavior in a, in, in a person that acts in a foolish and annoying way. And when you do that, uh, it indicates immaturity and there's a negative effect on that. While being childlike, you know, these are the good qualities of a child. You know, honesty, sincerity, uh, sweetness, purity, humility, etc. And this indicates innocence in one person. And uh, there's a positive outcome into this. So we need to become childlike, not 
childish. And, and, and for, for parents, I'm, I'm sure uh, you, could, you, could, uh, you could relate with what I'm going to say. You know, when your children were still small, there's that innocence in them, okay? And they like to ask questions. That sometimes it's just so funny. And I would just like to share with you some of the funny questions that ch the children would ask their parents or anyone else. You know, there's one question that was asked by a child. And the child asked, Mom, my, bud, my, 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 my belly hurts. Am I pregnant? Asked by a five-year-old son, a five-year-old boy. <laughs> Another question was this, uh, why do I have two eyes if I only see one thing? <laughs> Which is true, right? <laughs> and this one is my favorite, okay? Why do we have to become, why do we have to be born young and grow old? Why can't we be born old and get young? <laughs> so a question by, by a young child, right? So you see, there's that innocence in them. And they're, not, and they're not being funny when they're asking these questions. It's out of innocence. They, 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 they're really curious and they want to have that answer, right? And so we need to become like that to become childlike and not childish, okay? And one of the saints that we could really learn how to become childlike is Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, okay? So uh, Saint Therese, um, he, he was, she was born in the late uh, 19th uh, century. Uh, she was a, a Carmelite nun, and she died at the age of 24, okay? And, uh, and her spirituality, you know, you... you, you you would really know how to grow young uh, in her and also the spirituality of childhood. And, one, and she really taught us, you know, the little way. So what is this little way, okay? And uh, so she quoted this one, okay? She quoted this, uh, it says, she says, it is so good to feel that one is weak and little. Okay, I, I'm sure here in Earth, you know, we're, we, we want to project that we're big, that we're, we're strong, we're intelligent. Whereas St. Therese, she's saying that it is so good to feel that one is weak and little. And she also said this, it is to recognize our nothingness, to expect everything from God as a little child, expects everything from its father. So you see here the, the, her, her littleness and her great, great confidence in God. And she also said this, I never wanted to grow up in spirit. She wants, she wants to remain a, like, like a little child because, you know, when she grows up in spirit, you know, she would attribute to herself her good deeds. She also said this, believing oneself capable of anything while never becoming discouraged over failures. Okay? And the reason for that is this, because for her, she believes that for children fall often but they are too little to hurt themselves very much. So it's a beautiful way to follow the, 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 the little way of St. Therese of the child Jesus. Now, another thing that we could learn from uh, St. Therese is the call to humility, okay? And she once said this, everything is grace. Everything is the direct effect of our Father's love. Difficulties, contradictions, humiliations, all the soul's miseries, her burdens, her needs, everything, because through them she learns humility, realizes her weaknesses. Whatever be the character of life or its unexpected events, to the heart that loves, all is well. Okay? And, uh, and we, we, need, we need really to practice humility. And, you know, what she said also is... is uh, is in accordance with what St. Augustine said. St. Augustine once said this, man grown old through sin is rejuvenated through grace. Okay? And uh, so, so God, you know, but, but the thing is, but the thing is, it is only to the humble that God gives this grace. Okay? Not from any stinginess on the part of God, but because a proud grown-up soul is incapable of receiving grace or any gift in a fruitful way, 
Okay? And, uh, and of course, in, in, John, in James chapter 4, verse 6, where it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Okay? So, uh, so this being childlike, uh, it's not about age, but it's all about humility. Okay? And, uh, and so what's, what's the, what's the uh, profile of a childlike adult? A profile of a childlike adult is they recognize that they are in need of many things. And yet, they are not ashamed of it. Okay? So that's the profile of a childlike adult. The, uh, the, the, the third thing that we could learn from, from St. Therese is her great confidence in God. Okay? She quoted this. She said, that we can never have too much confidence in our good Lord. You know, he, he has this great confidence in God. And, and I've shared this in one of my uh, homily. You know, we need to uh, meditate on the three attributes of God, which is He's all-knowing, He's all-loving, and He's all-powerful. And when we truly believe that, we will have confidence in God. That's why for St. Therese, she has great confidence in God. You know, that's, that's why she was willing to abandon to divine providence. And there's so many uh, terms that we could use to, uh, to show that. You know, give God permission by Father Bob Bedard um, and uh, surrender, you know, sur uh, uh, we need to surrender, you know, to, 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 to the will of God. So there are many ways to show that. So have confidence in the greatness of God. Now, I would like to quote with you from uh, the book called God Calling by compiled by A.J. Russell. So this A.J. Russell compiled these messages given by Jesus to two souls, two, two persons in, in England in the 1930s. And they want to remain anonymous. Uh, that's why they just say, uh, they just call themselves as the two listeners. So this is the message of Jesus to the two of them. Jesus said, if for wonder working, if for healing, if for salvation, faith was so necessary, then the reason is clear why I urge that all who sought entrance to my kingdom must become a little children. Faith is the, is the child attitude. Seek in every way to become childlike. Seek, seek, seek until you find, until the years have added to, to your nature that of the trusting child. Not only for its simple trust must you copy the child's spirit, but for its joy in life, its ready laughter, its lack of criticism, its desire to share all with all men, as much that you may become as little children, friendly and loving towards all, not critical, not fearful. Beautiful message of, of Jesus uh, to, to all of us on, you know, urging us to become like little children. And this, you know, in, in Matthew chapter 18, verse 3 to 4, Jesus said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, I'll, I'll show here a, a picture of Jesus with little children. And this is a prerequisite for us to be able to go to heaven, okay? In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it's all, it says there that to become a child in relation to God is the condition for entering the kingdom. For this, we must become humble ourselves and become little, okay? So we, this is a prerequisite. And I don't know, one of the saints, uh, I, I forgot already who, who the saints was, uh, she, she saw a vision that there are several le uh, levels of purgatory, okay? And, and the one that is nearest to, the, to heaven, she saw a vision of children, little children. And she heard children laughing and playing, and, and those are the souls that are ready to enter heaven. So purgatory is a process of becoming like a child. So I really hope that, you know, we take this time here on earth as we live to become like little children, okay? Because it's a prerequisite for us in order to enter 
heaven. So the Lord wants to reveal so many things to us, you know, about the mysteries of God's kingdom, about his love, about his plan of salvation. But we need to become like a little child. So let's ask for the intercession of St. Therese of the child Jesus, you know, that, that, you know, that we will be able to follow her little way, her great humility and her great confidence in God. And, you know, as I've said, you know, we need to become like a child for us in order for us in order for us to enter heaven. And as I've said, childlike, to be childlike is not of age, but out of humility.